Hello there folks, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I'm not going to show you how to plaster, but I'm going to show you how to mix, because I get a lot of folks saying, gee whiz, how do you mix? What we generally use is I'll use an all-purpose sand, and that just means it has common and plastic mixed together in this right here. The only thing we add, and I get a lot of folks saying, well, you're adding lime, you're adding this, you're adding that, we're adding Portland cement and sand. And the ratio usually is three to one. Three to one means, for example, this bag is actually 94 pounds, but just for the sake of explanation, we'll call it 100 pounds. If there's 100 pounds here, we add three to one, which is 300 pounds of sand. Sometimes I'll add four to one, depending on if I'm browning, and sometimes I'll add less if I'm doing ceilings and I want it to cure and not fall. So I want it stiffer and richer. But anyway, that's how we mix, and we're out in front mixing right now with a mixer. I'll show you the mixer we use, although I see people using troughs, uh, a lot of work. Anyhow, we're gonna walk in front and I'm gonna get drowned out with this mixer, but I'll show you what I'm referring to. And this is for scratch and brown coats. Okay guys, we're in a loud area. What Dan's doing is throwing sand in here. We almost have a full mixer. We've got about two bags, so that's about 600 pounds. Okay guys. This mud is for dash. This mud would take about generally four hours to set, possibly five because it's so soupy like this. But to prove a point, I'm going to put just enough in this bucket right here to show you I can control the set times. Now this bucket here, it says aluminite, and what that is, it's a accelerator. Depending on how much of this I put, I can dictate the amount of time that this bucket sets. Now I've had buckets set so fast, they bring it to me, by the time they put it on board, it's hard as a rock or a sandcastle, so I'm going to do something similar to prove a point. Okay. I always keep a bucket, a drill in a wet bucket. That way it cleans itself, cleans itself, and you put dry drill in, in a bucket where you're mixing it. Kind of messes. It sticks to everything. Okay, while that's setting, and again, this is just to prove a point. Uh, I'm spinning my wheels and wasting my time, but I want to prove a point. Um, this bucket's going to set up in about two to three minutes. How do I know that? Because practice. I know luminite and I know how much is necessary in order to set up the buckets. This, these three buckets right here, I'm using this to dash with. Jay, you want to throw me a couple of those dash brushes, please? Okay, blam. Now this is the, we're basically going to put this in here and throw it on there. Okay, let me finish the three buckets. By the time I'm done with that third bucket, I'm guessing that that luminite will have set up Portland cement, where I can make a little sand castle, so to speak. And there, there's really no secrets to this stuff. It's just common sense. Common sense, working with the uh, plasters, you get a feel of what works, what doesn't. My youngest son was telling me with well, dad, I, some fella said he's going to show trade secrets. Not trade secrets. It's not trade secrets, it's just a matter of what works, what doesn't. Time in, that's all it takes on all this stuff. Practice. Okay, a couple more shell holes and we're going to begin with the dash. Finish. But in order to Prove that point is actually my 19 year old I was explaining this stuff. Okay, now that's, that's, uh, this was soupy mud. That's pretty hard already. 
I wanted to make a little sand castle, but oh well, that just shows you how fast that luminite sets this. And it doesn't even destroy any of the integrity of the strength of the uh, Portland cement. It actually just makes it stronger. This would normally take five hours to set. Anyhow, we're going to get back with what we're doing. I just uh, had to prove a point to my son. Uh, hopefully you folks learned something about luminite. My name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Thank you folks for watching. And as usual, we'll see you on the next one.